but uh, you can take a you can take a, a digital voltmeter and you can hook it up to your battery and you can see 12.6 volts at your battery and you think oh that's really good you can start your car and you can check your alternator you can see well I'm getting 14.3 14.6 volts charging so I'm in good shape but just because you're seeing 12.6 volts here on the battery doesn't necessarily mean that the electronic control module is seeing 12.6 volts it may not even be seeing 11 volts and if it isn't seeing 12 volts it's going to compensate because though you have 12.6 volts here you could have resistance in your wiring somewhere a loose connection uh, moisture in a connection moisture in one of your pigtails one of your wires is corroded you, you know you just you have to check them all I took a multimeter and went through every single I went through every single wire all the way back to the electronic control module and I did have some problems I had to replace my my main battery ground strap to my my frame was in terrible terrible condition um, there's another one underneath that goes uh, uh, from the frame over to the to the engine block it goes from where the battery is grounded on the frame from the frame over to the to the G160 behind the driver's side valve cover there but you know I can't go through and show all of them right now but my point is make sure all your grounds all your connectors uh, are in good shape uh, I, I replace most of my connectors with GM connectors they're sealed connectors so I don't back probe them because that allows moisture get to get in there and it just causes it just causes me more problems than I, I think it's worth so just giving you a heads up yeah, the <clears throat> the last uh, three two or three videos that I put together on on the old crossfire here have been uh, pretty much about well, talking about electrical problems with re with uh, regards to uh, idle and uh, how it runs and everything uh, get most people you know the first thing when the car is running rough it doesn't idle right stalling and etc the first thing they do is they go to the you know they look at the fuel you know which I understand you know fuel pressure and the fuel filter fuel pump fuel pump relay injectors etc I understand all that but oh well, the problem on this car here this these old uh, 1984 uh, crossfires is um, the electronic control module controls almost everything on this car it controls the fuel injectors and everything and one of the one of the problems with this car uh, that I've run into is uh, the electronic control module on this car here uh, senses voltage which is what I was talking about in a couple of my two previous videos the electronic control module wants to see 12 volts coming off the battery it doesn't really it doesn't really care what the alternator is doing it, it's looking for 12 volts you know if it doesn't see that then this particular ECM on this car has a what they call a, a low voltage uh, a correction system on it so uh, it's kind of difficult to explain but in theory every time you get in the car and you crank the car up the starter draws so much current that the voltage drops it drops uh, it drops down considerably so the electronic control module isn't seeing the 12 volts there so it compensates by delivering more fuel uh, increasing the RPM and it inc increases the dwell time in the distributor so and and that pretty much happens every time you start the car because starters draw a lot of current but as soon as it sees 12 volts again everything's fine and it 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 returns to normal but one of the problems with these old cars is and that system one of the problems that, that system creates is is resist if it sees it can see resistance in a wire as it can perceive resistance in a wire as low voltage and it'll compensate for the that low voltage which there isn't any low voltage but it'll compensate for it by increasing 
the fuel, increasing the RPM, increasing, increasing the dwell time, and you're going to have a lot of emissions coming out your exhaust. Uh, it's just going to run, run like it's running like, it's just going to run terrible. When I first uh, got involved in this car, I, had, I knew that I had a lot of issues with uh, you know a lot of the the connect a lot of the connectors I rebuilt most of the connectors um, my ground the battery is grounded on the frame the electronic control module is grounded behind the driver's side valve cover here and the car's got grounds all over it so if it's seen resistance somewhere if you have resistance in one of your your wires I'm just trying to give you a heads up uh, like the battery is grounded on the frame right down here just below the the uh, brake booster uh, mine was corroded really bad and then my I don't remember which one it is either G160 or G161 behind the driver's side valve cover is where the electronic control module is grounded it was totally corroded so you know and that's just two that's just two grounds but my 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 ground strap, my main ground strap from my battery to my frame was, was um, uh, the resistance was uh, way off. Uh, it was uh, green, corroded. Uh, but any, anyway, if you, get, if you even have uh, moisture in your connectors, that's going to cause resistance. You know, if you have, there's a fusible link right here that runs off the battery that runs to the electronic control module. The fusible link is beginning to wear out that's going to cause resistance you know moisture corrosion uh, anything that causes resistance the ECM could could perceive that as low voltage and it's going to compensate for it by again increasing the increasing the fuel to the fuel injectors and uh, the fuel injectors aren't going to be able to handle it so you know just giving you a heads up something you might want to look at look at all your connectors and I take the I took my ECM out of my uh, underneath the dash and I, I um, well first of all I had to put a I had to put a new um, electronic control module in the car but I cleaned up all the connectors made sure they're real tight cleaned up all almost all the connectors on the on the car have been rebuilt I, I actually did another video about that but make sure your battery terminals are really clean on this particular car because that uh, low low voltage uh, correction mode on the ECM uh, causes a lot of problems and uh, I just thought I'd share this with you guys it's something to look at